If we've reached a stage of not wanting to be alone in developing our work, what about potential development collaborators? Who is developing new work? Interestingly, 64% of us skipped the question on whether we'd collaborated with an organisation like MMD on the development of new work. I'm not sure if that says something about how many of us apply for opportunities and don't get chosen, or how many opportunities are available as a whole from all the organisations in question. It probably says something about the difference in the number of applicants versus the number of places available within those opportunities. Here are the figures. 31% of us in total have had work developed in collaboration with MMD. 12% of us with Perfect Pitch, 7% of us with the National Theatre Studio, which is much higher than I expected, to be honest, nearly 8% of us with Youth Music Theatre UK, and a couple of people have had stuff developed with Nymph and NAMPT in New York. Obviously, these are not the only people out there developing and producing new musicals. More and more companies are emerging that want to make new work. I chose some of the most prominent ones for the purposes of the survey, but the more people who approach writers looking for new work, the more vital it becomes, I think, for us to ask all the questions surrounding these relationships, no matter how scary it might feel to be asking them. Do we know enough about the creative aims of these companies to know what kind of work we could most usefully submit, or is it a great mystery what they're looking for? Do we bother to find that stuff out or just randomly submit that one show we're working on? Are these companies helping us to deliver the kind of product they want to be developing? Are we thinking about how best to serve their brand? Are they a producer working with new work or a developer of new work? Is there a difference? And here's the thing that is most important to me the thing which prompted me to organise an event in the first place. Are these collaborations ones of equality? Is there equal respect on both sides? Are we being offered legal agreements which are fair and reasonable? Should development agreements differ significantly from production agreements, and if so, how and why? Is there a sense of... You should be grateful that we're developing your work. Who else is going to do this for you? And if there is a sense of that, is that true? Are we happy about it? Could we change it? What about all the independent producers who are currently popping up all over the place? I started my own company and I'm now trying to make opportunities for other writers. Who else can we go and make relationships with? Who else doesn't normally develop new musicals but could? What about academia? How can we collaborate with them to mutual benefit? What are the differences between developing new work with actors who are training and actors who are working in the business? How are we suggesting that we might collaborate with people? Are we asking them for money and just making everyone feel awkward about the inevitable rejection? What else can we ask for other than money? The Arts Council asks about match funding, but they also ask about in-kind support. What form could that take? Box office support, marketing advice, printing, script photocopying, mailing lists. What else could we be asking for that would be easier for them to say yes to? This massive subject is my sixth and penultimate question to us as writers. How can we broaden the opportunities for new work development and what are the details of what we're actually doing or could be doing?